morning everyone welcome back to the channel you're probably wondering why i'm sat off to the side slightly but it's because i have a very special guest for today's sit down video you are very special yeah. <laughs> i would like to bring in to this video my husband it's not someone i haven't seen before it's not but you're not usually in my sit down videos I think you did a few sit down videos with me in the very beginning at the start of my YouTube channel, didn't you? Hmm. Only a couple. But um, you haven't been in a sit down one recently. No. But seeing as this video, as you'll have seen by the thumbnail, is um, what happened at our wedding, um, I thought it was only fitting, seeing as you were the main man at the event, that you join us too. Thanks. And as you can tell, he's thrilled about the, the prospect. I've been on night, so. I'm yeah, you're a bit tired, aren't you? Tired. I have let him sleep. I've not just like... Yeah, she let me have two hours. <laughs> but yeah, welcome back to the channel um, and welcome to a new video. So with this, I just wanted to sort of chat about our wedding because obviously I've put a few little snippets on YouTube and I've been putting things on my Instagram, but I haven't actually sat down and properly chatted to you about how the day went. So I thought for this week we would do just that. So I've made a few notes on my phone of things that I wanted to talk about and I've had a couple of people ask a few questions about it as well. So mainly like what would your top tip be for um, you know somebody who's getting married soon and things like that. So I've made a few little notes on the phone um, that we'll talk about. So I think first off we'll just sort of talk vaguely about how it actually went. So how do you feel the day went? Perfectly, yeah. Um, everything went to plan, didn't it? Yeah. Because you don't know how it's all going to come together, I suppose. Yeah, that's one thing that we said. Obviously, we've been planning this for just over a year. And, you know, you book everything. You tick everything off your list of things to do, things to book. But with decorations, you know, suppliers, you never know how it's exactly how it's all going to come together on the day. And that was one thing that was just perfect, was the suppliers were there when they said they were going to be there, nothing got missed, nobody didn't turn up, um, and actually some of the suppliers... We didn't, I, didn't even see. No, we didn't even see. I've still never met the lady that made our cake. Um, <laughs> it was just there. It just like appeared on the day. Um, the flo who was the woman? The florist, the Lucy. Yeah, I did so see her, her. Two minutes, didn't you? But like two minutes. Um, and actually the reel that I posted on my Instagram of me and my dad walking down the stairs at the Rhinefield, um, I'm talking in it. I'm looking up and I'm talking. And that video... Um, in that reel is what Lucy, my florist, took. And I'm looking up at her and I'm saying, and you can see my mouth moving, and I'm saying, thank you so much for our, my flowers, I love them. Because that's the first time, I think she came in while I was in my dress and getting photos taken and then went again. So I never really got the chance to talk to her properly. Um, so that was me thanking her for my flowers as I was walking down those stairs. And I absolutely love the video that she took. Um, but yeah. Everything like that went really smoothly and everything just came together on the day. The venue, the people at the venue were brilliant. Um, we were a little bit nervous before the day because we had a wedding coordinator. Two. Well, we had two wedding coordinators because they just <laughs> seemed to keep... Cancelling. We'd have a meeting and then... Change careers. And then they'd <laughs> leave the rye field. Um, I don't know if it's something that we said. <laughs> Maybe we were too much room. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, so it just worked out that we kept having different wedding coordinators. And our final details meeting that we went for was with a really lovely girl, but then two weeks later she left. Um, so we were a bit concerned that we told all of our final details information to somebody who didn't work there anymore. But actually, Ange and Jill on the day were absolutely brilliant. Jill kept coming in and checking on me when I was getting yeah. ready, checked that if I needed anything. Yeah, they couldn't um, do enough, could they? They couldn't do enough for us. So the Rhinefield, as a venue, the people were, were so good and made our day just perfect. I'd recommend it to anyone. Yeah. Highly recommend the Rhinefield House. Hotel in the New Forest as a wedding venue. It's beautiful. We were lucky with the weather. It was dry all day. Not particularly sunny, but our photographer actually said that that was the perfect weather for 
it because you didn't have to worry about the lighting and sun in your eyes and things like that. So all our guests were able to enjoy the gardens, which is a massive sort of selling point mm. for the Rhinefield as a venue, isn't yeah. it? So, so something else that I wanted to, I kind of want to know what Carl's opinion is on this as well, but what was your favorite thing about um, the wedding day? Come into shot. Sorry. Um. What was your favorite thing? If you had to pick one. What, like a part of the day that I'm favourite or, or... Yeah, just a favourite part I just liked having... Day. I probably said a meal, having everyone around one table. Like, I did like that. Mm. That was that was special, having just you know, one big table rather than a load of little ones. Yeah, and I think because we only ended up having 26 people at our wedding were the final numbers. Um, and we always planned on having one oval table and everyone sat around one table. And actually a few of the guests have said to us as well haven't they that they loved that because mm. although they might not have been sat next to somebody or sat near them you could still see could have a conversation everybody. with majority of people yeah probably. and you could sort of yeah just see everybody's faces wherever you were sat on the table which was really nice wasn't it food was good as well <laughs> food was amazing food was really good what was yours my favorite thing about the day probably the videographers following you everywhere and Getting your photo taken. You love that. Well, I love that in the respect that they're memories that we're going to have forever. I think you were loving your photo taken. I just Honestly, got used to it after the first. There's a photo. There's one photo in particular that I'm looking forward to seeing because when we were walking around the gardens, um, we obviously were having photos together, but then we did a little bit on our own and. I saw, I was sort of stood I back. Know which one you're gonna I was sort of stood back, and I think the videographer was like getting shots over my shoulder. Um, you said it looked like a bald in James Bond, didn't you? I didn't say a. I didn't say that. Did you not? I didn't say that. I never said that. You no, know, I thought you did. Oh, no, you said James Bond, and no, I said, I said about me. Uh, a I said James a Bond. A receding James Bond. And then you made the balding comment. I would never say that about you. Um, <laughs> You're saying that I said that about you when you said that about you. No, no but yeah, so you got the right moment. So, um, Carl was stood on some steps in the gardens of the Rhinefield and he was like looking out into the distance. Obviously, the photographer's sort of guiding him on what to do. And he was holding on to his um, like sleeve of his blazer and he was just like. Just like like this off it, yeah, off into the distance. And he looked really handsome and he just looked like he was really enjoying it, which obviously I'm the the one with the YouTube channel. I'm the one that drags Carl into these videos and you're not used to having photos taken all the time, are you? Well, like, I'm getting used to it. Or having a camera in your face. Good so um, yeah, you're definitely getting used to it. And I felt like he really enjoyed it and he was doing really well. I was he? doing that in the morning though. Yeah, so you kind so exactly of were pro the by the afternoon, yeah, weren't you? Yeah. yeah. Stood in the window of the hotel room, mm. doing exactly the same but thing. But yeah, he just looked in his element and he was just like... I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> he looked like he was. Um, and yeah, I said he looked like James Bond. Next. No, I haven't said what my favourite bit is yet. I thought you did. No, you said you said that my favourite bit was me having my oh, face taken. Oh, <laughs> Just putting me down. Um, no, my favourite part was definitely, as a general thing, just having our friends and family all in one place. It was really lovely. There were people that had never met before, like some of my friends had not met my parents before, like Monique, my bridesmaid, hadn't really met my mum and dad before. Um, there weren't our, that many people that didn't really know each other. Cause no, but, sag do I got everyone together, didn't I? So. Yeah, but like your mum had never met my mum and dad before. No, true. Um, and it was just really lovely seeing everybody together, everyone having a good time. Um, that's what I loved, was just having everybody together. Because how often do you get that? I mean, we may never have that again. So it was just really special mm. to have all of our closest friends and family in one place. Um, what would you change if you could? Mm. Or like, so what I would you do this. differently? Um, can't actually think of anything I'd change. What would you change? Because that might prompt me. I know you've already said actually, haven't you? What you? Have I? Yeah, I thought you did. I'll, let you, I'll see what you say. There's one. There's there is one thing that 
um, yeah, that maybe I would do, well, that I would do differently, and it's a very small thing, um, but it's my hair. <laughs> Is that oh, what you mean? No, no, that's not <laughs> My hair. So I loved my hair when it was done, and in the initial pictures, I'd say from, obviously, when I was in the room, when I just had it done, um, the ceremony, it looked lovely. Just after the ceremony, it looked lovely. Um, but my hair dropped very, very quickly, and I do have very thick, very heavy hair. However, when I do it myself, like I've done today, this will stay in. I could go out for a walk. It will obviously drop a bit. I was just thinking then, that stays, stays longer than... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this will stay there. in. If I came back to you, I mean, it's in the morning, so I've just got ready. But, um, so it's very sort of curly now. But this will still be wavy um, this evening, even if I go out and it's quite windy outside today. But yeah, it will still be like this, or like wavy in the evening. However, I don't know why it was. I don't know if it's the amount of product that they use on your hair for things like that, wanting it to stay in. Whereas with my hair, it obviously just doesn't work like that. Because I don't, I've not got any product on my hair now. And then you'll see in pictures that at some points, in the evening my hair was dead straight it didn't even look like it had been curled and it had been curled pinned for like three hours in the morning and it just fell flat so so quickly um and i th i was thinking after i was like why didn't i just go back to my room just quickly curl it for 20 minutes it would have taken me 20 minutes to do it but i was enjoying myself so much that that never even crossed my mind to do on the actual day but then when i look back at some pictures i think oh why don't i just go and do it myself um and refresh it but i was obviously having such a good time that it didn't matter to me on the day so it just shows what a lovely day we had um but that's one thing that maybe i would not do my hair myself because I, I'm, I don't want to put the lady down that did it. She was brilliant. My makeup was lovely. All the bridesmaids and everybody that had their hair and makeup done loved their hair and makeup. I loved my hair and makeup, but it just fell very flat. So um, maybe I'd do my hair myself and just because all we did was like pin it. Um, and I had some bits down at the front. So yeah, maybe I would yeah do your hair maybe do my hair myself oh that's what i thought you were going to say anyway. because i know how how i can get it to stay mm. um yeah so that's the one thing that niggles at me that my hair doesn't quite look as good as i hoped it would for as long as i hoped it would because it did look amazing when she first initially did it but i wish it would have looked like that for longer <laughs> what I did you think i, I thought you were going to say about the entertainment scene it was good, but you felt like we didn't really need it. Yeah, that's another thing actually, was we worried, well I worried quite a lot about the entertainment aspect of the day. Because we were only having a small wedding, I didn't want anything that would overpower the like, number of people. Like a band. Like a band, yeah, it would just overpower people and be too loud and too, yeah. So we did go for a solo artist, he sang, he played the guitar and he was brilliant. Mm, he was really, yeah. really good. We were really happy with him. However, thinking about cutting back on what we were spending and things, I think that's what I would cut out because we made a playlist and quite a long playlist. And actually I think just playing the playlist on our phone would, would have just yeah. been fine. Um, yeah, so I think that's... Yeah, it's not, not I wouldn't discredit dream, is it? No, it's... and I wouldn't necessarily change it, but I would not worry so much about the entertainment aspect and the guests on the day um and the people you're with and the mu just music playing it doesn't have to be a live band or a no. live performer i think just a playlist on your phone no, you doesn't did, cost you did anything for um recommendations from people from like different um people of different ages didn't you send you songs yeah i asked which... the guests for recommendations I... which definitely i think no, that helped definitely. yeah um, because even when songs came on that my grandma requested, they were straight up on the dance floor, weren't yeah. they? Um, and it was things a good like mix. that. Yeah, it was a really good mix. So I think a playlist on your phone is sufficient. Yeah, don't feel like it's tacky. 
doing that. No, is. not at all. Um, the one thing I am very pleased that we did um, that was quite last minute um, was paying for the dance floor. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because that's not something that I booked until like <clears throat> February, but I it was expensive, but it was a beautiful dance floor. I will link us all the suppliers that we had um, and decoration people, so Luminique Events, I think they're called, that supplied our dance floor. It was beautiful. It was expensive, but it was worth it because I think having that designated area for all people to dance, even if we didn't have a, a performer, what just made it and made people want to dance mm -hmm. and it was like a yeah it was good to have that dance designated dance area yeah i wasn't sure about that at first but i'm glad you got that yeah. that's why I'd, I'd get that over the entertainment the yeah the singer and um if you've got any kids coming to your wedding <laughs> the light up aspect of the dance floor was a hit with my brother's little girl lexi um because the lights would change on the dance floor, so she would jump on the lights as if she was putting them out. There were thousands and of them though. <laughs> it kept her entertained no end. She absolutely loved it. And I think the dance floor looked really pretty in pictures and just brightened up the room as well, didn't it? Mm -hmm. I think yeah. the dance floor was definitely something I'm glad mm -hmm. that we did, yeah. that we weren't going to initially. I think as far as decoration goes, again, it was something I worried about. Can you tell I'm a worrier? Beforehand, did we have enough? Like, did we have enough flowers? Did we have enough decoration? And actually, I think we got it spot on. Yeah, it wasn't too much. There wasn't too much. There wasn't too little. The table was perfect. It wasn't cluttered. Um, I will try, I'll insert a picture if I can. I don't really have a a really good picture of the table but we basically had um, the things that we got were the name cards the little leaf name cards I've shown you in a previous video um, and um, we did wedding favors just for the women though because when I asked Carl about his opinion on wedding favors for the men what did you say I can't really say exactly what I said, but they wouldn't be bothered. Yeah, he's like, I don't think the men will be bothered about a favour. So I just did them for the women. So any guests, male guests that came to our wedding, if you're a little bit annoyed you didn't get a favour, <laughs> speak to this guy right here. <laughs> um, but I gave a tropic body pebble to all the women that were at our wedding because I like personal touches like that when, like you, when you go to a wedding. <laughs> Um, things that are personal to the bride and groom and obviously Tropic is personal to me um, and they went down well didn't they? Mm -hmm. There were yeah. lots of oohs and ahs, people smelling the body yeah. pebbles around Some the table. Some women got the men's one though didn't they? Didn't they? Yeah but, but the body, that's what's great about the body pebbles, they're like unisex, You can anybody can use them. Yeah. We didn't do menus which is another thing that I I to and fro about didn't I beforehand do we need a menu so everyone can see what they're eating and I thought because we didn't have menus people would be like what are we having what are we having but nobody did um you don't remember the food at the wedding do you everyone said that the food was lovely but I don't particularly remember what I had to eat at a wedding I, I obviously remember if it was not nice but I don't think I've ever been to a wedding where the food isn't nice um but everybody said how nice the food was but as far as people asking what they were going to have i think everyone was just happy to be there and enjoying themselves and we didn't get what you're given yeah well yeah but um we didn't miss having menus and i don't and nobody really asked me so no. um we saved money on that too yeah so a lot of people do say there's like little bits of drama that happen at weddings and i think the main, there was no like drama on, like during the wedding, no, no. like nobody fell out, nobody argued or any, nothing like that. The only thing that I can think of is in the morning of the wedding, whilst I'm getting ready with my bridesmaids and my mum came round to have her hair and makeup done, was my mum came round about nine or half nine in the morning to get her hair and makeup done. My mum came in, she was like, you okay? I was like, yeah, I'm good, thanks. Are you? She was like, yeah. I was like, did you sleep well? She was like, um, not really. I says, oh, why not? She's like, oh, don't worry about it. And I was like, 
what's wrong mum why didn't you sleep well and she's like no it's fine um, I was like what's happened she's like no don't worry she says oh it's just a bit noisy um I was like oh do you mean that that you know the guys were up drinking until two o'clock in the morning and they were making lots of noise and she was like oh yeah and I said don't worry Kirsty, my bridesmaid has already told me so Kirsty would come in um first thing in the morning before my mum got there and had told me that she had to go and tell the guys to go to bed about two o'clock in the morning because they were being loud and so I already knew that Carl had been up drinking till two o'clock in the morning and water yeah and um my mum felt a bit nervous about telling me that that had happened whereas Kirsty was like yeah this happened and it was absolutely fine I knew that he was having a good time and he'd stayed up with the guys and I knew that they would have a few too few too many to drink but the one thing I said to you oh, go on. Go on. is I don't want to smell alcohol on your breath and when we're you? saying our vows and I didn't so tell us the story about the night before I'm blaming the the guy behind the bar right the barman yeah he brought up flaming sambucas for us we didn't even ask for him and then after that it was just a case of everyone started buying them I didn't mm -hmm. I just drank them yeah and I burnt my hand, didn't I? And then what else happened? So how did you spend your oh, spent... last night as a single man? I woke up with someone, didn't I? He slept with somebody, didn't you? Yeah, but... <laughs> he, well, explain who you slept with. Well, he was in he was in a room with, with three lads. So I thought, and he'd come round to my room, so I thought, oh, I might as well sleep in here with me. But I've spent... I've so slept do you want to explain who Barnsley is? Admit it from work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I spent a shared a bed with him for like two months in Cyprus. So yeah, it's not... so they're well acquainted already. Yeah. So yes, Carl s slept with. Um, when I say slept with, obviously I mean they just shared yeah. a bed. Um, yeah, slept with one of his mates, spooning plenty the night no, the spooning? night before. I think no. that's what was said in the speeches, wasn't it? You just Did you say that? Spooning? I can't remember. I'm sure that speeches. spooning was mentioned. But uh, yeah, so Carl didn't go lonely on the night no. before his wedding. <laughs> no. But you didn't even look hungover. I couldn't smell no, alcohol on you. So, yeah. I did stop drinking. You didn't let me down. I know, because I said they're up to one, but I'm sure I had my last drink at about one half one. Mm -hmm. I said up till three. But um, yeah, it was it was fine. We we didn't have any domestics or anything like <laughs> that. You enjoyed yourself. I enjoyed myself. And um... the wedding day, though, I was getting to that point where it would just get buying shots. Yeah, people were buying a shot. Even my cousin Joe, he bought me a shot, and I was like, I can't, because I've been I've been drinking consistently throughout the day, and I don't know. I was just. I just didn't want any well, more to drink. You drinking, well, you'd been drinking from the morning. It's like ten o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I think, about yeah. eleven o'clock, had my first drink, and then I was yeah. getting to that point where things were starting to become hazy. Yeah. Um, so it, it was on the cusp of Carl going over the edge and having far too much to point drink, of no return. and potentially the being a domestic. But it was uh, my dad that told you, didn't he? <clears throat> yeah, 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 that last shot, didn't he? That someone handed me. Yeah, my dad ended up drinking a shot because somebody bought Carl a shot. It was Joe, and was it Joe? I think so. And my dad drank it. So I think my dad suffered trying to save you from going too far. It was a good egg. <laughs> but I remember seeing my dad. He was like, "Carl, no more shots, no more shots." I just laughed though, didn't I? Think and you Carl joking. laughed. And my dad went, "Like Carl, serious? Yeah. Seriously, no more shots." And Carl was like, "Okay." <laughs> you I drank started water. drinking water then. Drank, drank water from about yeah. half ten. Because Carl tends to repeat himself when he's had a few too many to drink. Oh, what incident did we have though? Was that on the dance floor? Oh, slipped on your dress, didn't I? I've got the photo actually. Oh, you could put but, that in. But me. what happened? Have you, oh yeah, we'll put the photo here. I slipped on your dress. You, oh, come on. He took me out. Is what he did. <laughs> I slipped and then. So we were on the dance floor. Me and Carl just dancing, and my dress we. See, I could hook it up so that the train wasn't, you know, too long. But it was still, people were still standing on it. Um, when I, like, when I danced with my dad, um, he stood on it. And when I 
dance with Carl, he stood on it, and it, if I <laughs> if I danced too violently and like jumped, it would unhook. And so this is what happened when I was dancing with Carl. Not our first dance, but um, Thank God. later on, uh, we were dancing and obviously moved more aggressively <laughs> in my dancing. And it unhooked and Carl put his foot on my dress and slipped and completely fell over. But in falling over, he took me out with him. So at one point we were both, Carl was on his back, insert the picture now, um, on his back on the dance floor. I was on my bum. And apparently my, my brother, he came in from outside and we were both sparked out on the dance floor and he was like, what's so just happened? it wasn't happened? Drink, drink related. <laughs> it wasn't drink related, but because Carl was getting to that point where he'd had a bit too much to drink, he kept saying, are you annoyed at me? Are you annoyed at me? Because I fell over. And I was like, no, no, I saw what happened. My dress unhooked and he slipped on it and then just took me out with him. Because actually later on when I was dancing with um, one of my bridesmaids, I think it was Cut Night Joe that we were dancing to, so we were hopping around the dance floor, linked arms, and she did the same. It unhooked and she slipped, but she didn't lose her footing. So, yeah, nice that was one thing that happened. Oh, yeah. We sparked out on the dance floor. Yeah, I'll have to get that photo. It, yeah. yeah. Um, but, I mean, they're funny stories now. I feel like every wedding has a funny story, and I think the one of, like, yeah, yeah, you took me out on the dance floor. <laughs> Was quite Imagine funny. Imagine the first dance. Oh, I've never looked down. Oh, I know. Yeah. Speaking of the first dance, I actually just posted a reel this morning on my Instagram <coughs> um, of our first dance because something that we didn't tell anybody, nobody that was going to the wedding anyway. I told a few people that were going to the wedding, but um, we didn't tell anybody that we had a couple of dance lessons because we didn't want the pressure. And actually, I suggested it to you a while ago, didn't I? I knocked it on the head. You did. But then a few months before the wedding, so maybe like January, February of this year, Carl was like, I don't really want to just stand on the spot and not move, did you? You said you felt a bit more awkward doing that mm. than, and you wanted to be able to move a little bit. Yeah. So when he said that, I jumped at the chance. I booked the lessons before he could change his mind. And we just went into Reading um, and had, what, three lessons? Mm -hmm. Three yeah. one hour yeah, lessons, lessons. Just to be able to move around the dance floor. And um, yeah, go and have a look on my Instagram if you haven't already. I posted the reel about it on there. Um, it didn't quite go according to plan because of the standing on the dress situation again. Yeah, it just threw us off, didn't it? Uh, yeah, it threw us off a little bit. 20 seconds in. But you can't, you can tell a little bit in the dance, but we still did a couple of laps of the dance floor, didn't we? Um, which was really nice and I really enjoyed it. Yeah. And actually, considering I was probably the most comfortable with dancing like that than Carl, Carl pulled it through on the day because I think my brain was completely, I wasn't, I don't know, I wasn't. You were steaming, weren't you? <laughs> no, I wasn't. <laughs> but yeah, I think Carl, Carl led me because when when we got thrown off, Carl was the one that was like, he kept there, saying there were a few little moves weren't in that. Yeah. New, and we just so, did that a couple of times. Yeah. So there's a basic step, and Carl kept going to me, basic, basic, and I, we just kept doing the same bits again and again, which moved us around the floor. So without Carl like leading me through it, well, it would have been a shamble. <laughs> so actually, you were the pro that pulled it through, didn't you? Tried. But, um, yeah. No, it's fine though, wasn't it? We messed mm. up a little bit, but... But yeah, yeah. Um, and actually, your friend Cameron came up to me and was like, Carl would never have danced like that before. Um, so a couple of people noticed. My mum doesn't miss a trick. Nope. She noticed that we'd obviously practiced something. Um, but um, yeah, yeah, that was really nice. And definitely... What would you say to people considering having, or what would you say to the men who aren't that keen? Like me, because I'm not a... Yeah, it's not me at all, is it? Doing dancing. No. But I'd recommend it, definitely. Yeah. Just one-on-one. -on -one. You don't have to feel awkward or nervous or anything, do you? Mm. Yeah. Because you weren't... Even when we booked the lessons and it came to going, you were like, oh, do we have to go? I don't want to no, go. Yeah, I enjoyed it, though. Yeah, and after he'd had his first lesson, you enjoyed it, didn't mm -hmm. you? 
So you yeah. surprised yourself, I think. Yeah, definitely do a one-on-one -on -one first mm -hmm. before you do like a group one, but. Yeah, we've not been to a group one. We did just have a one-to-one -one lesson with somebody. Um, but you even said, didn't you, that you'd like to go again to a group lesson yeah, or just class? Yeah, Because well, it'll be a bit more relaxed and the spotlight's not on you then, is it? Mm -hmm. So you can relax and enjoy it even more. Yeah. But yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I'd recommend it. Because after our first lesson, he was around the house and he was going, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Like, and he was really into it, weren't you? He won't admit it, and he doesn't like to admit it, but he really enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, I'd recommend it. If, yeah, wouldn't you, to any men out there that are being badgered by their yeah, future wives? Yeah, just do it. Just knuckle under. Yeah. You'll surprise yourself and actually enjoy it. And it's a lovely thing to do as a couple, isn't mm, it? Yeah. Yeah, something different. Mm. We can take it off now, can't we? Mm. <laughs> but my top tip for the wedding day itself it's so true when people tell you take it all in it goes so quickly i feel like because we had a smaller wedding it was easier to do that i can't because even on the day i was thinking oh i've not spoken to that person as much as maybe that person so if you had more people a bigger wedding you know like i say we only had 26 people i don't know how you do it I don't know how you get around everyone because I was even like, oh, I'd spoken to everybody, but I felt like I'd spoken to some people more than others. So I was like, oh, I'll go and speak to that person because I've not spoken to them for a while. But if you've got a bigger wedding, then I'd say like 40 or more. I don't know how how you speak to everybody. Um, but definitely take <clears throat> it in, have some moments for yourself. Um, we had a few moments, didn't we? I think you grabbed me up for a dance a few times that was like a moment for us where we just were like we're married can you believe it and then we went outside later on as well didn't we yeah like... yeah we went outside um there was like the pond area and it was all lit up with like um not fairy lights but what are they called those like, like lanterns weren't they? yeah so... with nice lighting as the sun was going down it was getting a bit dark wasn't it but it wasn't pitch black um, and we went out by that pond area and even the day after the wedding we before we got in the van and went to Cornwall we had a walk around the gardens together didn't we mm -hmm. which I captured in another video um, but we just walked around the gardens the day after and just I don't know just took it all in like we got married last night or yesterday you know didn't we yeah definitely take it all in take those moments for yourself and don't sweat the small stuff or don't worry about it when it comes to heading to your venue or the day of your wedding just if anything goes wrong little things happen um just don't let it worry you because we had a couple of things with um some people that didn't make it to our wedding um but actually the day's about you two so anything like that people don't turn up whatever happens it's about you two and as long as you two are there get it as long that as helps. you two are there <laughs> um the day's about you two so don't worry about anything else um and considering i'm a worrier i think we did that very well didn't we mm -hmm. and you've you've planned so much and put so much time and money into this day the main thing is that you two have a lovely time and um yeah any little things dramas just let it wash over you and you only get this day once hopefully yes <laughs> he spent too much money on it he doesn't want to do it again <laughs> it's an old job it's not again. <laughs> not you, you're stuck with me now um but yeah don't sweat the small stuff and take those moments for you as the bride and groom husband and wife on your mm -hmm. special day and enjoy it and yeah you'll have the best day and everything will come together so if you're like me and a worrier don't worry just enjoy it or if you're like me and not a worrier then you'll enjoy it <laughs> yeah then then you're fine <laughs> But I think we'll leave it there. It's been longer than, as usual, I like to talk. Um, but I hope you found this insightful. I hope it's shared a bit more about how our actual day went. 
and um, like I said I will leave links to all the suppliers um, and yeah anything that I might not have linked before I will link in the description box down below because I cannot recommend our photographer, our videographers, our um, florist, the lady that made our cake even though I haven't met her it was we loved our cake <laughs> Um, entertainment as well. The entertainment yeah. was really good, so I will link everything. I can't recommend all of it enough. There was nothing that I wouldn't that I wouldn't recommend. I don't think from all of our suppliers and no. the venue and everything like that. Um, they were all brilliant, and um, I think that means a lot on the day when you can trust your suppliers and they just do what you're paying them to do, basically. Yeah. Um, and the service was brilliant with all of them. Um, <clears throat> so yeah. I'll link them all in the description box down below. Hope you found this helpful. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Because um, I'd love to see you here for more. And join us in our married life together now. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>